Na nimeona watu wengi wameanza kufikiria ambaye ni ya muhimu sana that kuna kuna matumaini the end of the tunnel na wengi wanatarajia hii mwaka ya 2020 2024 kuna matumaini na hakuna kitu mzuri kama kukaa kama huu na haki unaona Mungu atusaidia unajua inchi na kila kitu yote iko mkononi ya Mwenyezi Mungu sio mkononi ya mwanadamu ni mkononi ya Mwenyezi Mungu sisi ni kujaribu kutimiza lakini Mungu wa all the time ako nasi wale wagonjwa wale wako nini na ningesema ni jambo la muhimu na nizungumzie na Kenya niwaulize don't be cheated by anybody mtu kuja kukuambia maisha yako iko namna hii maisha yako iko namna hii hata kama ni mchungaji ni kuambie manuti wewe ulitoka na kuru ukaangalia gari yako maji ukaweka mafuta kuja kunitafuta uliwema mtu akusaidie hiyo it was you and your god Umefika hapa na mlaga mpaka naona sikuizi au unanyweje kichwa? Eh? <laughs> Nikutembea umetembea sana. Wanasema mwenye ananyweje kichwa hiyo ni ni pesa. E, kwa hivyo unazo. Na nazitafuta niko na kidogo lakini nataka ziwe. Unaona yako kama hujapata nywele imeenda. <laughs> kwa hivyo ni bidii na ni mzuri hiyo. And also it is a wisdom. Unajua kwa hakika tunasemaga ukiguza mtu kipala ambaye ni original ya, ya kujitoa nywele peke yake inasemekana kama utapata nyama lakini yako si na haki wajua tuachana na mambo la na mimi tuje hapa hivi kabla tu, tu, tujaribu kuangalia mwaka uliopita hebu tujaribu kuangalia eh, mwaka huu ambao tumeanza mwaka mpya wa 2024 labda matarajio yako ni nini we wacha tuseme hivi eh mwaka ambaye tulikuwa naye wa 2023 2022 2023 ilikuwa ni mwaka iko na changamoto mingi sana It was a difficult two years. Very very difficult. Unakumbuka 2022 ndio ilikuwa uchaguzi. Ilikuwa na faraka mingi ya uchaguzi. Watu walishinda, watu wakushinda, ukora ilifanywa wakati ya siasa na watu wengine. Mambo ilikuwa ni mengi sana 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 sana. Lakini ninatumaini huyu mwaka wa 2024. Vile ninaona wana Kenya. Na ningesema kwa mfano vile niliona wakati ya jamhuri. You see? wana Kenya wali, wali, they turn to be themselves they, they left the differences na wakashangilia sana siku ya jamhuri still Kenyans today wameomba sana kwa sababu ya 2024 wengi hakuna sisemi ni nani all the churches everybody whatever they are watu waliomba sana na hiyo maombi waliomba Mungu anasikia and uh, tunatarajia 2024 eh, mambo ikuwe mzuri na ya kwanza tushukuru Mungu kwa sababu 2022 wakati ilikuwa mambo ni magumu sana Mungu alikuja akatusaidia tukapata 2023 tumepata kamvua kama sasa hapa kwangu mimi napiga maharagwe iko hapa tumepanda imetoka mzuri kuna mahindi kuna matunda kuna avocado kuna you know that is god unajua Mungu akisibisha sisi tumbu mambo haya mengine tuweza kufumilia kwa hivyo njaa Kenya haiko sana sasa kwa sasa ingawa still there are some people ambaye they are suffering. Kwa hivyo tuna matumaini bana manuti at the, this year ya 2024 itakuwa ni mzuri. Na sisi tu, tu, tuendelee kuomba. Tusiombe tu tukiruka mwaka tulitupumzike. Tuendelee na ma, maombi, tuendelee na kushukuru Mungu. And when we are complaining, also let's appreciate God for what he has done for us. Sasa tunaimba tu shida, 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 shida. Lakini tunasahau kusema baada ya hii mambo yote Mungu umetufanyia hii mzuri umetufanyia hii mzuri na umetufikisha hapa so we, we need to also to appreciate, to appreciate God tunajua kuna watu wengi wako hospitalini we need to think about them ni wagonjwa kuna watu wamewachwa na watu yao kama hapa kwangu na mzee supporters wangu sana hapa naitwa 10 eh, ameweza kutuacha tunaenda huko leo kuangalia mambo yake vile tutamsaidia So kuna miji ambaye iko na matatizo hata sasa na hiyo miji na matatizo wale wana uwezo tuyatembelee na tutulize roho zao ili tuweze kuwa kwa safari moja kwa hivyo nina matumaini 2024 itakuwa ni mzuri kwa sababu you know manot hakuna kitu anaweza kusema at 2024 itakuwa mbaya now you must be lying because we say on the hope of god sasa ukisema 2024 itakuwa mbaya sio sasa unajidanganya we must accept that manot 2024 itakuwa mzuri. Ah, pia kwa kwangu na kwako pia na kwa pia kwa wakenya wote itakuwa mzuri. Yeah. Jana uliweza kusikia eh, speech ama hotuba ya rais. Yeah. Na 
ilikuwa ni ya kuweza kutia moyo sana mm. na pia kwa encourage wa Kenya mambo kadha wa kadha mm. labda wewe ni mwanasiasa kwa hii serikali ya ya rais William Ruto mm. so hii tunaingia mwaka wa pili mm. tango ingie mamlakani mm. labda huu mwaka wa 2024 mm. labda ungependa afanye nini mwaka huu kwa sababu mwaka mmoja na nusu uliopita hatujiona mengi yamefanywa mm. mwaka huu wa 2024 tukielekea 2027 uchaguzi mm. labda wewe kama mwanasiasa na pia support wa rais William Ruto Unatarajia afanye nini? Waja kwanza manduti ni kuambie na pengine ni kusahishe kwa sakini maoni yako na yangu yaweza kuwa tafauti. Hatuwezi kusema rais e, mwaka uliopita ama nusu mwaka hajafanya chochote. Kwa mimi hakuna rais umekuwa naye amefanya mambo within a short time kama vile Luto amefanya. Mheshimiwa amefanya nini mheshimiwa? Well there are so many things. Unajua Saa hizi kwanza tuseme ya kwanza tuna amani. Amani which is very important ya nchi yetu. Mambo ya health amengangana sana. But it is inajikokota lakini it is on the pipeline inaenda mzuri kwa sababu baka hata maskini. Hapa jana kulikuwa mama hapa mwingine ana asthma nilikuwa nimemlipia nimemsaidia kama miaka saba. So sasa alikuja hapa kadi yake imekwisha. So kuna nchi ile namba ya kuregister huduma you know uh, NHF iko na matatizo kidogo mm -hmm. lakini huduma namba wanatengeneza njia ya kuishikilia ya pili ambaye ninaona amefanya mzuri sana pesa zimeenda counties mm -hmm. eh is only counties mimi naona wengine hawanyafanya chochote i saw the report of auditor general <laughs> that in akuru county you have invested 1% 0.4 0.4 can you imagine out of the billions we are getting 0.4 that's what we have done. So, ata tukijipaka mafuta na tuseme nini, mimi siyo Auditor General. This is a report which have been given by Auditor General. Uh -huh. So, in that line, I can say we are not doing good. Lakini ukiangalia report ya present, the way we have been elected in the world. Lakini mwishmiwa, uh, Rais wetu William Ruto pamoja na serikali yako alipua D, juzi. Kaya hile survey ilifanyo juzi. Nisafajwa na nani? Na info truck. Sasa info truck ni nani? Those people in what we are hire, they are goons for hire. Let's talk the truth. We are talking about National, World Bank, IMF. What, what is this saying about Kenya? In Chitano, they are under bankrupt. Five countries, mm -hmm. Ethiopia, Wapi, five countries, they are under bankrupt. But the president has paid. We are, we, we are out of five countries, we have, we have been related, doing very well. Economy yetu, GDP yetu. The way he said yesterday, the Nigeropo and Kenya, ile mambo lezi alizema our rating in the, in, the, in the world. Just take it, go and Google. Kwa sababu siyo miki nyake, and Google, you'll be able to know the truth. Lakini na juu watu wengu wanapenda hii mambo ya projo manuti. Mwongo na propaganda. Kwa hivyo infotract ni ya propaganda. Just for hire. That's one for hire. Si walikuwa nasema hata hawa, unuto hata shinda, sujui nini takuwa na muna gani. They did not stop God to do his own work, the way he's supposed to do. So, I would say that Kenya uh, is doing good. Mambo ya ukulima, tumeona, amejalibu sana kungangana na mambo ya ukulima. Mambo ya kahawa na majanchai, iku na changamoto kidogo. Unajua, I will tell you this, Manuti. Unajua, hata wewe ulipo fanya first dating yako na girlfriend yako diyo mwe. It was very good and we are very happy and excited on this and this. And we had a lot of hope. Then when Mungu uh, alisaidia mkapata mutoto, then uh, you are very happy getting a child. Lakini I want to tell Kenya mufano nataka kuwapa hiyo. After the child, six months or one year, wakati ya meaza kutoa meno, the house inakuwaga in a very big problem. Baka mama na mzee, Unatengesa nilia program. Wewe utachukua mtoto masa mawili kutingisa. Na wewe masa mawili kutingisa. That, that is the fact which I can give Kenyans. Why? Mtoto wakifika teething problem. Akifika kutuwa meno. Kulia. Dailia. Eh? And many children also goes there. Wengi. Wanatu, wanatuacha kwa sabi ya hiyo. Teething problem. Kwa hivyo hiyo ruto ilimikuwa teething problem. Kenyans where we are now. We have done so good things. But we are also in teething problem. Uh -huh. Now, in teething problem, we are going to do well. That's what mm -hmm. I would tell you, Manute. As I'm saying, 
that we have hope in the end of the tunnel. And there's no way Mambo Teresa Kuwa Mazuri yote baka mwisho. Lazima kuwa na program. This is about one year and a half only. Eh? Even you kuwa mujumbe. When you are new MP, you, you cannot perform na you can impact kubwa within five years. No. It takes maybe about ten years. Your impact sasa unakuwa umelewa na umepanga kwa jia mzuri. But I will say in the side of economy, politically, I would say maybe we are not doing so well. Eh? Eh? Mambo ya hii viyama, atufanyi mzuri kwa viyama. Watu wengi wa mengia kwa serikali, wengi atufanyi mzuri. Wengi ni kujichukulia, wengi ni majivuno, hawasaidi present kwa ground, wengi. Hatuna watu ya kuzungumuzia. Vitu kama hiyo raisi ya disema jana. Hakuna watu wambaye wanaizungumuzia. Kuweza kueleza wanainti kwa ground. We are here, but we shall be here tomorrow kwa sababu ya mambo hii na hii that one we are lacking na inatusumbua although tuko na ministers wanaweza kosa pengine wawili watatu ambaye wanafanya jukumu hiyo lakini wengi wamekwama kwa sababu pia wakati tulichaguana <laughs> mambo ya kusema tutengeneze cabinet you know kila chama ilileta mtu yao wengine wakaleta girlfriend wengine wakaleta sijui nini so they don't have experience we must give them time waweze kulani mzuri tena wakapelekwa na high gear namba 6 na president na wako wamezoea na wako wamezoea six wewe ukiweka gear namba 6 hata wewe you will be confused but i'm seeing them catching up wata catch up na ni mambo mengi huduma inaendelea mzuri mambo ya kulima inaendelea mzuri accidents zimepungua